In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to get ungated in the Lego brand and give you some tips that other Amazon YouTubers don't. Now to start this process, you do need an Amazon seller account. So I'm going to link a video that walks you through step by step on how to do that. First, you need to head over to Lego.com. Now when you're on the website, you're going to go to shop and then you'll select offer and sales from here. You're going to want to sort by low to high. You want to find the cheapest product because most of the time this will not be a profitable item. I mean, if it is great, but if not, you can just return it after you are approved to sell in Lego. So I'm going to show you the one that I chose. It was this one, the Voldemort, I think his name is. <laughs> All right. So from here, what you're going to do is you're going to copy the title. Then you're going to head over to your Amazon.com, paste it on here. And what you need to find out is if Amazon is selling it. So we're gonna compare the two from Amazon and Lego.com. So we look at this, the back, okay. Then we can go here and look, and it's pretty much the same thing. So now that we know that Amazon is selling it, we go back to Lego.com and go to purchase. Now the first requirement that Amazon is looking for is that you need to purchase 10 of these items. Now, if you notice, this item has a limit of five. So I bought my first five, then I went back and waited a few seconds, and then I went and bought another five. But I ended up getting this email from Lego. Dear Vanessa, we're sorry, but your recent Lego shop has been canceled because it went above our purchase limits. So basically, at that time, I was trying to buy the Black Panther. Um, so basically they said, uh, uh, you're not going over our limits. I thought I could trick the system and waited like a day or two later and purchase the items again. And I got the same email. So now I had to revert to plan B because I was one of the cheapest items. So this is what I did. I just went back onto lego.com and searched up this Yoda keychain. And if you see, it does have a limit of 50, but first we do have to check if it is selling on Amazon. So again, just copy the title, head back to Amazon put it in the description, hit search, and let's see which one comes up. Now, this one I believe is it. We can double check, look at all the pictures, and we can match it with the one that's on lego.com, and it is the same one. So from here, you're just gonna go purchase the items. Remember, you need 10 of these. Now, the second requirement that Amazon is looking for is that when you purchase these items, make sure, please make sure that the shipping address that you put on lego.com is the same address that you have for your Amazon Seller Central account because Amazon matches that. And if it's not the same, they will definitely deny you. So please keep that the same. If you're enjoying this video, please hit that like button so it can reach and help other sellers like yourself. And if you are in need for hands-on help, I am offering one-on-ones. My information is in the description below. Now, maybe two or three days later, you should receive an email like this. Thanks for shopping with us. You'll find enclosed a copy in the invoice and then you open this and it'll have all the information here. Some of this stuff is blurred because it is my personal information. But what you can see here, it says receipt. Amazon for some reason does not like the word receipt. So what you can do is just, I use Adobe or you can take a screenshot of this, get creative and take it off and just write invoice there. But if you look, you'll have the product, the description, the quantity is 10, the price, and how much you paid. Now, usually what we would do is wait for the items to get to our home, then take pictures of them and submit everything to Amazon. But I've heard that the process of getting approval is automated. So I kind of wanted to test my luck. I went back into amazon.com. I was at the listing. Then I came up here and copied the ASIN. The ASIN always starts with B0. You can find it up here or you can go down to the product details and it'll be right here. So either or is fine. I went back into my email and saved the invoice. And this is the format that I saved it in. I saved it with the ASIN number underscore Lego. So whatever brand it is, then underscore invoice. And I saved the invoice as a PDF. Then I went over to my Amazon seller account. I went into add product section. I pasted the ASIN. So yours would look something like this. It'll say select a condition, new and apply to sell. Then we request approval. Now here you will check off all these sections. Then we will upload the PDF. We have the invoice here. 
Now the comment section is optional, but I do highly suggest it. So what I did, I put hi, attached I have provided the requested invoice to be ungated in ASIN, and you add the ASIN and brand, add the brand. 10 total Yoda keychains, just put whatever you bought. Were purchased from a trustworthy distributor, thank you. Then from here, you would add your email and phone number, hit submit. I then decided to refresh my screen, and I kid you not, within seconds, I checked my email and I got this. You have been approved to sell in this category. So I am approved to sell in Lego. I was so happy. So I am spreading the good luck dust with you guys. But for some reason, if it doesn't work and you do get denied, then I suggest to wait till your items do get there and you take pictures. So you would take pictures of the package, a close up of the shipping, take pictures of all 10 items, and then save those as JPEG. Then you upload all those documents into the Amazon seller account. And from there, you just wait a few days or right away maybe, and you will be approved. Trust me, you will be approved. Just keep applying. If anything, just switch up some of like the way you save the documents, but you will be fine. You will be approved. Now, if you're looking to get approved in other brands like Nike, Adidas, Puma, I do have a video for that. I'll link it so you guys can go watch that next. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit that subscribe button and the bell so you're always notified when I upload something. And as always, I'll see you guys soon. Bye, my loves.